I think the land tenure reform in China in the 19, late 1970s, uh, con connective own land allocated to farmer for 15 years use right. But in late 1990s, government decided in the second term of land use right contract is 10 to 30 years. And recently, government considered if after finishing the second term or 30 years, we may be going to give to farmer for long term. Uh, Use right. I think this uh, kind of policy reform will help farmers to increase their incentive to do long term investment in agriculture, including irrigation, land quality improvement, and others. Those kinds of things can be a good experience for many different countries, particularly from African countries, which maybe they can learn something from China how uh, the past of agricultural development. public, private sector, farmer, they need more trust each other. Without trust, you can do but much better work. Second, I consider is the commitment to do that. The commitment in public sector need to commit, private sector also need to commit in, to do that. And third issue I consider very important for the PPP is try to, to find any which they are complementary. That means everyone gaining from these uh, PPPs. And last but not least, I think uh, they also need uh, compromising because private sector they want to profit and the government want to have more equity, uh, social development, everything. Farmer want to increase the income, but to make it happen, they need to crop compromising. And one of the most important is political commitment to invest in agriculture. Uh, political commitment to have investment, committed investment, it, a cultural infrastructure, including irrigation, then they need to try to invest in technology, and then they uh, start investing in market infrastructure, which will help to bring technology from research to to far away from the research area, even the mountain area. But without rural infrastructure, it's difficult to bring the technology to farmer.